The project journey up into this point has really been quite a long one. And now and then we have uh, projects where the gestational period from the time we meet the owner to the time we start construction, sometimes it's weeks actually, sometimes it's months, sometimes it's years. Sometimes it gets so long I measure it against milestones in the lives of my children. And so when I think back, my children are now 23 and 25, but the first phone call I took to discuss this project, I think my kids were probably a freshman and junior in high school. So we're going back eight or nine years from the first phone call on this. And it, it evolved slowly. My friend Paul Wheeler made the call to me and actually Paul wasn't even the architect for the job. A firm from, I believe, Chicago had reached out to him and wanted to know if he could help them. And as the project progressed, they gravitated more towards Paul and ultimately selected him to be the architect. And Paul, of course, uh, had already introduced me to the sisters and we began on that journey together. Over the months ahead, uh, the next couple months, there was a group of local businessmen who had formed a committee to come around these uh, nuns and advise them. And that committee met over the course of a, a long period of time, maybe two years, trying to decide uh, how the project should be shaped and what could ultimately be afforded. And th the initial thought was that they are so far removed from what they need to fund this project. We just need to implement the most meager project possible to get them on the land. And this group is just like talking and talking and talking, but really not doing anything. And, and I think this is so cool because in this season in my life, I read a book uh, uh, called Every Good Endeavor, and it's, it's about the intersection of our work and our faith. And th to me, that's a very important and powerful topic. And I don't know that I ever saw that brought forward more so than with these sisters because their vocation is to pray, right? That's their job. That's uh, what they believe they're called to do. And so uh, while all these uh, business people are sitting around the table with all our hot air, th th they're praying. And as we're trying to shape this project, we get these calls from sister and uh, they're s along the lines of, hey, we got a we got an investment from here and we got an investment from there and um, and it, it wouldn't be an investment it'd be a staggering sum of money and it wasn't just once it was again and again and again and and to me back to that intersection of our vocation our work here it is their 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 work to pray and so they're praying that God will provide while all these business people just keep talking and God keeps providing. And it was just an amazing thing. And so here we are, uh, four years later almost, they've raised what they need for construction. Um, and, and I'm gonna say that if we think of the various models we looked at in terms of construction, we looked at a bicycle, we looked at a Yugo, uh, we looked at, uh, we looked at a, a Rolls Royce, were somewhere in the Buick and Cadillac range. They prayed all that into existence as well as an endowment that should be able to support them for years. There was this movie with Kevin Costner where he was a baseball player that was called For the Love of the Game. And you know, he, he doesn't play for the money or the glory, but he plays for the love of the game. And that movie always reminded me of my dad because it was never about making money. It was about what he loved to do I want our team to pour our best into it because they deserve the best uh, and I want to make sure that's what they get.